Too many thoughts on my mind, I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing. I don't need no help, I don't need opinions, so don't Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to episode 30 of the Striker Career Mode. We're here with Villarreal, and uh, this really is getting to the pinch point of the season. And uh, today's episode, we are going to be playing Atletico Madrid at home, and then Valencia away. Two very, very big games for the club. Um, I wanted to push on for the Bournemouth game in the Europa League, but I'm going to do... A double header in the next episode, which is going to be the home and the away leg against Bournemouth. Uh, but for today, it's Atletico and Valencia. Let's have a little look at the league table. OK, so as you can see, since you've been gone, it's uh, it's been going well for Villarreal. We sit top of the table on 59 points after 28 games. Barcelona have been slipping up a little bit recently. Draws and losses, and they sit on 54 points. So, uh the league is ours at the moment. It's it's in our hands. We uh, we control our own destiny. And if we were to win La Liga with Villarreal, it would be a huge, huge achievement. Atletico Madrid are our opponents next. They sit in fifth. Valencia in sixth. And they could spoil our party. Let's get on into this Atletico Madrid game. Here we go. La Liga action. It's Villarreal at home to Atletico Madrid. And the line-ups, here comes Villarreal, Asenjo in goal, a back four of Schmelzer, Ruiz, Toloi and Alvaro, two holder midfielders, Undai and Rodri, the three behind the striker, Rabba, Trigueros and Muller, and the lone striker, Sean Measures. And this is how Atletico Madrid line up. It looks a strong one. It's Oblak in goal. A back four of Philip Luiz, Romagnoli, Taski and Vershalko. A flat four in the middle. Vitolo, Party, Saul and Correa. And up top two danger men. It's Costa and Griezmann. Correa inside to Saul. Back to Correa. Playing one twos again into the feet of Diego Costa. Lovely little ball through to Shaw Measures. Shaw Measures is in here. This is his chance. He shoots and he's dragged it wide. I wanted to go and take that on my left foot and put that past the keeper, but that defender was getting closer and closer. I thought he was going to put in the challenge and win the ball, but that is a poor effort. Should have done better. Griezmann's beating his man. He's got a chance here. He finds Correa. And Correa finds the top corner. A little bit of a lack of uh, commentary there. Apologise about that. The move caught me off guard a little bit. And that's a big blow for Villarreal. Good football though. Great turn from Griezmann. That really created the goal there. Great ball. And uh, a cool finish from Correa. Villarreal nil. Atletico Madrid one. Thomas Partey plays a long ball to Correa. Schmelzer wins his header well. Schmelzer finds Rabba. Rabber inside to Trigueros. Now Rodri. What can Rodri do? Rodri finds Muller. Muller goes back to Ndai. And that's the half-time whistle. Not a great deal of action. Atletico Madrid have looked by far the better team. Real quality at the back. Romagnoli has had me in his pocket all afternoon so far. And uh, we've got a big second half coming up here. We need to salvage at least a point from this game. Or we could start getting caught from teams like Barcelona. Baba steals the ball. and I into Rodri. I've played it to Trigueros. Trigueros, a little bit of trickery. Will he find me? He does. We try to buy ourselves an inch of space and we can't. Good defending from Tasky and from Atletico Madrid. Lovely little ball there. Gets there just about. Keeper comes out. Ball's found my feet. Played that to Muller. What can Muller work? Can he work magic? Because we haven't got much free space here. He can't. And with only a minute at a time, that is going to be it for the chances for Villarreal. And Atletico Madrid are going to steal the game 1-0. They looked the more dangerous, but they didn't really create a great deal of chances. But then neither did Villarreal. And a very, very poor game for me. And uh, let's hope that doesn't cost us too much in the title race. And after the game, it's a match rating of 6.7. Really, really poor. We had three shots. All were off target. Parson was 93%, which is really good. Uh, poor tackling. Not that that's a massive concern for a striker. But we lost the ball too many times. Romagnoli, Romagnoli and Thomas Partey were fantastic today. So strong. Read the game well. Didn't give me an inch of space. But a poor result. But we must move on. 
manager feedback not great too often this season you haven't given the goalkeeper anything to think about when shooting you need to be more accurate keep possession in midfield is essential for controlling the game and then a couple of positives you showed your class with some impressive through balls great short pass and well done keeping control of the ball okay we've now got a game against Ibar that I'll be playing off camera but then we've got Valencia so let's get straight into that Valencia game let's hope for a much better performance and three points desperately needed as, as you can see Barcelona now only two points behind us as we lost and they won their last game here we go it's the game against Valencia away from home it's a big big game and just to let you know the game we played off camera against Ibar we won 2-1 it was a really good game. We went 1-0 down and we fought back really, really well to get the win in that one. Uh, you probably just saw a glimpse of the table there, uh, but we will go for it in further detail after this game. Time now for the lineup. Some Valencia first. It's Neto in goal. Then we've got a back four of Centelles, Garay, Paulista and Cancelo. Uh, midfield four of Kostic, Coquelin, Parejo and Bacali. And the two forward men, Simone Zaza and Mina. And the line-up for Villarreal. Asenjo in goal, as always, top, top keeper. Schmelzer, Ruiz, Alvaro and Miguel on at the back. And Dian, Rodri, Holden. We've then got the three behind the striker, Rabat, Tregueros and Muller. And the lone striker, Sean Measures, the main man. Lovely little ball through to Measures. Has he got the pace on the defenders? He has, he shoots. And it's a big save from the goalkeeper. Mina tackled well by Trigueros. Ball laid off to Rodri into my feet. We've got an option on the outside here in Muller. Lovely ball across, but he's offside. And I finds the ball to my feet. Coquelin really, really tight to me there. But we managed to push the ball out to Rabba. Rabba gets the ball back. Schmelzer puts the ball in. We're at the front post. And that is a fantastic save from Neto. And for some reason, it's come up as a poor header. I think from there, that is a fantastic header. And a great reaction save from the goalkeeper. Corner kick to come in. Can we lose our man? Can we get our head on this? It's a terrible corner. Zaza gets there. Only as far as Ruiz. Rodri. Muller. Trigueros into measures and another shot and another save from Neto. He's keeping them in the game so far. And half time whistle goes and it's nil nil. It's not been a great game at all. Valencia struggled to create anything and Villarreal seen most of the ball but also struggled to create. Lovely ball down the flank for measures. Have we got options? We've got one at the far post in Rabba. Rabba's there. He misses the first and the second. Can't quite find its way over the line into my feet. Can we get a shot off? We can. It's off the post again. I don't quite believe it. We've had so many chances to go ahead in this game, but just haven't managed to take them. Miguel on into and die. Finds my feet. Gonna have to cut back. We've got an option here, and it's a terrible, terrible ball, but it's fell back to us. We've hit one. It's another save from Neto there, really keeping them in the game, but we're struggling to create anything concrete. Patiently waiting, only two minutes left here. It's Rabba. We're gonna have to ask for this ball. We did, we probably shouldn't have done, and now Valencia have got the ball, and that is gonna be that. I mean, before the game, a point was probably a good result away from home at Valencia. But we certainly had all the chances we needed to win the game by at least a goal or two. But Neto pulled out some amazing saves. He really, really did. So we'll have to settle for a point today. Valencia nil, Villarreal nil. And after the game, we got the match report. We finished on a 7.8. Not our best game. 80% uh, shooting, four on target, one off target. And uh, I really did feel maybe that header, maybe that uh, strike to the to the far post should have found the back of the net. But great goalkeeping, really was. 76% passing, 66% uh, tackling. A good game, not the best result, but not a, not a bad result.
And after the game, the manager feedback, not good at all. He wasn't impressed with us today, uh, probably because we were just tr we were trying too hard in the end. We really were. We were trying to make things happen all by ourselves. Uh, you've lost far too many tackles this season. Simply isn't good enough. Too often you gift a position, possession to the opposition in the middle of the pitch, instantly putting us on the back foot. Attempt to pass the ball rather than giving up possession. You're having trouble with short passes. Try to find a teammate who is open. Not good at all. Okay, so after those two games, or those three games that we played, we still sit top, but now we only have a two-point gap between us and Barcelona. They're really piling the pressure on now. So we've got 63 points there on 61. Atletico Madrid and Real Madrid have come right into the reckoning now. And uh, only five points between us and fourth place. Nine points between us and fifth place. So I'd like to think that... We, have, we haven't guaranteed mathematically, but we are almost guaranteed that top four finish we uh, that we wanted at the start of the season. But after coming this close, I'm kind of going to be disappointed if we don't end up winning the league. We've only lost four games the whole season, only matched by Real Sociedad in sixth place. Uh, but not bad at all. OK, so we're going to draw the episode to a close there. Uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, the next episode is going to be Bournemouth in the quarterfinal of the Europa League. It's a very winnable tie. Bournemouth, I'm sure, will give us a good game, but that is a really good tie for us. So we're going to play the first and second leg in the next episode and hopefully we can go on to the Europa League semi-final. And uh, not much left of the uh, league campaign left either. Deportivo, Real Sociedad, Catafe. And, uh, and then these are our last four games, Espanyol, Malaga, uh, Valladolid and then Real Madrid on the final day of the season. Imagine needing to get a result against Madrid to win the title on the last day of the season. That would be pretty amazing. But we're going to leave the episode there. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, please drop it a like. If you're new, subscribe to the channel and I will catch you in the next episode.